What is up, ladies and gentlemen, man here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode. Right away, I want to apologize for the little poor audio quality that you're going to experience during this session here, because at the moment, I don't have access to my normal, you know, audio gear. So, you know, we have to improvise here a little bit. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update to the finger situation. As you guys remember, some of you maybe, um, I hurt my finger not too long ago. It was my right index finger to be precise while climbing. I hurt this finger so yeah I wanted to just give you a little bit of an update because it's going uphill rather steeply and quickly and I just wanted to talk about in this episode a little bit about what I did to heal that stuff, how long it took to heal it and you know also a little bit of general talk when it comes to injury in climbing and all of that in the context of this problem which I called the comeback problem so to say um, the comeback boulder which I designed on the 45er as you can see with rather you know active really small you know crimpy fingery holes and I figured I could only climb that stuff you know if I'm back on track with the finger um, at least let's like let's say you know 90% you know still not there 100% but I could send this problem so yeah it can't be too bad so let's check the problem out here starting left hand with this small little pocket there right hand with this kind of cream pinch uh, gray hold and then big first big move to this um to this you know violet wavy cream here and you know it's with these holds i did a little bit of a close-up shot here these this is not such a you know positive um you know sharp edge as you usually see it's a really round thing really active to hold and as you can see i have to do it in half crimp style i can't even full crimp that stuff because i get i can't get my thumb so you know so high on this round edges and here right afterwards we've got this pink edge there just the same story really round edge as you can see which has to be held very very actively and you know i do these holds always in half crimp style and i think most of the climbers would simply full crimp them but as you know i try to avoid the full crimp indoors just because of the you know um, injury prevention and stuff like that and i think it's also better training actually to you know hold these holds actively in half crimp mode so then we've got this gray white pinch there this ball um, hold up there this round one and the gray edge for top here i'm doing another attempt not from the ground just to show you the um, you know what the upper moves look like as you can see we've got the pinch in the left hand there big move to the round hold and then some really complex and precise stepping onto these wooden um, screw-ons there to get the last move done. By the way, we're stepping only wooden screw-ons there on this boulder, which is, you know, rather awesome because it gives you really this, um, this body strengthy type of climbing that you can also really use for outdoor climbing, in my opinion. So here we've got yet another close-up of the two index fingers, which I already did um, back when the finger uh, was freshly hurt. As you can see, it's already a lot less big. You know, the swelling got a lot better on the right one. It's still a little bit bigger, but as you can imagine, it doesn't even hurt anymore. So I would say um, this is going to stay like that simply. You know, I hurt my finger. It swelled and now the swelling is reduced a little bit, but it's not going to go back 100% to the index finger like it is shown on the left hand, you know. So here I want to drop a few words about climbing injuries in general. And I want to ask the question and, you know, drop the theory here a little bit. Are climbing injuries actually necessary to progress? And I would say it could be. Because, as you can see, the finger is still thicker, but it doesn't hurt anymore. And, you know, probably it will stay like that, because the structures during the phase of inflammation, you know, the structures grew, the tendons grew, the, the joints, you know, got a little bit thicker, got a little bit more resistant. And, you know, in the, in the process of healing and of swelling down, it doesn't return to, you know, what the finger looked like before the injury. So, I would say that that sometimes these injuries actually trigger an adaptation to new forces in these structures in your finger itself and then the finger is a little bit thicker than before and it's also a little bit stronger than before you know so this is something that I always thought about when you're having these these constant and lo really long lasting overstraining issues in your fingers but when you overcome them you know after half a year maybe even or even a year 
then these structures got a little bit bigger and they got a little bit stronger and in this way you know you could say that injuries actually are necessary to progress in climbing and, you know a counter argument against this theory would be Adam Onra who states that he never had any finger injuries but if you're looking at Adam Onra's fingers you can clearly see that these fingers are thick as hell you know and adapted to this sport as hell so it is kind of safe to say that he probably went through this all these little injuries injuries all these phases when he was still very young and so didn't even notice um, you know them occurring because when you're very young your healing is so much more ramped up and um, you don't even notice this these tiny inflammations which make your structures bigger in the end so this is just another little theory of mine you know which gets kind of you know confirmed by this recent injury of mine that um, you get hurt, then your structures get thicker and inflammation goes down again, but your structures are never going to look the same as they did before because they got stronger. Comeback boulder, which contains holds which I can only hold again because my finger is already better, you know. So that's what we're going to try now. Let's take a look at an attempt of the comeback project. I've been projecting this thing now for two, three sessions and it's really fingery, you know, it's really kind of a test piece, a finger test piece. It starts off with this really dynamic move onto this first really active hold there, this um, violet uh, kind of round edge there. And as you can see in the slow-mo, it's really dynamic, you've got to hold it really actively. And we've got another one, which is going to this kind of um, sand colored hold there. Another really active um, crimp actually, which I'm holding in half crimp. Then we've got the pinch, big move to this really active round hold there again. And this is something that really takes a toll on your fingers as well, because you've got to um, kind of half crimp it so badly to set up the last move, which is actually one of the hardest moves of the whole problem, which is the move to this um, gray edge there. So here's another attempt. Let's see if it goes down this time. Big move to the violet hold. Rather small move to this pink uh, edge there. All of these holds are really active to hold, you know. Kind of a cool, pro actually a really cool problem. And also the stepping, really precise. It's a lot of fun. Boom. And here I'm sticking the move to the top hole, which is actually also really hard to match. And yeah, this time it went down. So how long did it take me to um, quote unquote heal this injury? Because it's yeah, it's not back you know 100%, but I can feel that it's going uphill with every session. Um, it's now been exactly more or less exactly 12 weeks since I've injured this finger, and now it's you know basically going uphill very much. So I suppose that it's healing up now. So how do I know that? How do I feel that? Well, I'm noticing that the finger doesn't swell at all anymore after sessions. There was kind of a long time, like two months, up to two months after the injury, where the finger would swell after every session and where I basically couldn't do, you know, sessions back to back. I couldn't do sessions on consecutive days. It wouldn't make any sense because with the swelling it would hurt a lot more. And so I couldn't, you know, do sessions back to back. This is now possible again. So I reckon that this this is you know another good sign that it's going uphill steeply still the question needs to be answered um, what did I actually do to heal the finger and here I can say as usual I did nothing okay I did no taping no creams no um, corrective exercises or what not not that I'm saying that this no, couldn't all be you know somehow useful for healing an injury like that but I didn't do any of that I just kept climbing just kept climbing below the pain threshold this is very important you know and always keeping the structures active you know moving them around even even when I'm not climbing you know trying to mobilize my fingers all the time trying to get the blood flow going and helping that tissue to really heal up and stuff I think one of the worst things you can do is actually to stop climbing at all and you know stop moving that stuff at all because then you know these structures kind of thicken up and they 
they um, kind of create this scar tissue, you know, you know that, that is not really mobile and not really alive, not really, um, you know, as healthy as it could be if you would have to, if you would keep the tissue active and, you know, help these, um, these strings of fiber, you know, to align perfectly again, to take up these forces. This is something, you know, from biology, you know, everything, every tissue needs kind of some sort of mechanic um, impact to know in which direction it has to grow you know you know your bones um, are just a perfect example for that your muscles as well and of course also your tendons you know these cells they need these these stimuli to to be able to synthesize this collagen in the right way so to say and if you don't give it to them then they won't heal up you, you it's a little bit of a different story if you completely rip something apart in which case you will often need surgery anyway um, but you know if you have these overstraining issues and it's definitely the case that you shouldn't stop completely in my opinion and this time I even had something abrupt you know if you go back to my original finger injury video where I um, tell the story so to say how the injury actually occurred um, you will notice that it's actually an abrupt injury so I pinched a pinch basically and then something snapped in between my you know index finger and middle finger and this something that snapped was actually abrupt and even though um, it was abrupt, you know, I still kept climbing, still kept climbing below the pain threshold, I could still move all fingers, so that's how I knew that there couldn't be, um, a, you know, bigger damage to some structure, so yeah, this gave me the confidence to keep moving, and with time it simply healed up, and now it stopped hurting and it stopped swelling, so yeah, this is almost uh, finished. It's just a couple of you know finger strength tests on the beast maker on the new beast maker that we mounted in front of the 45er you know just a couple of silly hangs to see how it go how it's going it's actually not going too bad still not back at 100 percent definitely but you know for my finger strength standards this is actually kind of close so i'm already looking forward to see what's possible when this stuff is completely healed up and focus i have no idea anyway Finger is doing quite okay. I'm really happy to send this problem today. Didn't really expect it to uh, be honest. Um, yeah, it's time to get back into the harder training, I would say. Also more 45er sessions and more hangboard sessions again. Um, it would be interesting, you already know, because I've back-checked my training diary in the voiceover probably. Um, but it's gonna be interesting to see if, for me, for myself, how long this finger injury took to Heal. I mean, it's not completely there yet, I would say. It's not back at 100%, but um, it's actually quite close, I think. And I still can feel the, the max strength coming back, you know. And when you get a push like that, you're coming out of an injury, it's usually um, that you actually get a little bit of a peak almost because, you know, you get the ability to, to train fully again and, uh, yeah with this momentum so to say you create a new peak so hopefully that's gonna occur hopefully um the finger continues to get better uh yeah i hope you're doing fine as well uh i wish you all a good training i certainly had a good session today it was amazing i hope i could motivate you a little bit as well although it's getting hotter and hotter um yeah get out into the nature try some nature stuff anyway i don't want to ramble too long see you soon in the next one guys bye